Hello everyone, good morning. I'm Tanu and welcome back to my channel again. So today I come back to you with the education series again where I'm going to discuss about SHRM certifications. I'm going to navigate to the website and show you uh, everything, you know, everything related to the exam, the dates, the fees, uh, the study material, um, <clears throat> how you register and become a member of the SHRM organization and much more. So in my previous uh, video, Video, I did discuss the differences between CHRP, CPHR and SHRM certifications for HR professionals and I did tell you that I finally decided to go ahead with SHRM CP certification and today's video is going to be everything about it. If you haven't watched the previous video yet, please watch it. I'm going to link it above and also in the description box before you move ahead with this video. So let's go back to my screen um, and let's, let's see what SHRM is all about and I'll help you navigate through the website to find all the information that you need. Let's go. Alright then, this is the SHRM website, shrm.org. Now once you get inside, the first thing that you do is become a member of the SHRM org. And I think this is the same uh, with every certification. Even if you want to do CHRP, you need to become a member of HRPA organization. Similarly, we do here. All right. So once you get inside, you can click on join now. Let's click on join now. I'm going to use um, another email because I'm already registered just to show you. So you key in your email ID, click on next, and then you need to fill up this small form. I'm going to fill up Canada. And then you see these are the dif different membership types available. So first one is professional student and global online i went ahead with the global online package because uh, i did not think i would require the professional package because it's used for research purposes you can have an advisor at your service and it's like quite an exhaustive package i did not need that my requirement is just having access to the study material and completing my exam right so i went ahead with the global online and if you see this package is available only to non-us and non-indian residents and since i'm in canada this was perfect for me so select whatever package suits you click on next and then you need to fill up all these details your name your employer name uh, the job title and then you know based on the job title what's your specialty so these are all different areas of human resources and if you cannot find anything that's suitable to your role just click on other and you can uh, specify exactly where you are you also need to fill in the position level Right. So once you've done filling up all these details, key in your credit card details and then submit and make the payment and that's it. You become a member. Once you become a member. So let's go back to the login page now. So let me sign in. I'm already a member. Yeah, this is how it's going to look. You're going to get access to lot many articles and information the top news related to HR professionals and all the important dates um, you know the SHRM organization keeps doing a lot of events and activities these are the dates and if you want to attend any of them you can just go ahead and you know register so basically you have access to lot of events lot of information that the SHRM org is planning for next year okay now we are more interested into this section so this is all about membership so you can click here you know to all the links that are available and read through in details let's go and check out the certification section so you know why is HRM certification what are the different certifications available you have a handbook and then SHRM BASC is their learning system let's get inside and see it so it's the body of applied skills and knowledge this is and it's it's um, it's it's a nice book you know you can download the SHRM BASC and once you're preparing for the exam you actually need to read through this book as well because uh, a lot of the exam questions and answer are based um, out of the uh, course material or you know based out of the syllabus that's there in this book 
so at a glance these are all the topics that are covered in the shrm basque material right so go through that now let's go back to certification again and how do you prepare for the exam let's click here so there are three three methods self-study instructor led and prepare my team uh, instructor led is basically you can register and there's going to be one um, instructor who's going to take you through all the modules and the materials and prepare you for the exam i opted for the self-study because i wanted to do it at my own pace um, these are the statistics um, you know of passing the exam so if you see someone who did not use either the shrm basque or the learning system the passing rate was um, 53 percent for shrm cp someone who used only the learning system passing rate was 62 percent and someone who used both shrm basque and the learning system the passing rate was 72 percent which is quite good if i say so let's get inside self-study so once you go here this is the shrm learning system right so what does it give you it's very effective and the results are proven it has a personalized approach like i said i wanted to prepare at my own pace so it's uh, the dashboard or you know the way it's prepared is is very approachable like i've already visited it i'm going to show you very soon and then it has all the current and relevant topics for you to learn as well you just need to click on buy now you can try a free demo as well uh let me see if i can show you a free demo uh okay let's just quickly fill in um, okay let me use that company is google country is canada phone number okay phone number i'm just going to give a random one i'm interested in training myself okay submit all right explore the 2023 shrm learning system where is it but mm -mm -mm. oh this one okay you just have a video to watch i'm sorry uh explore learning options what do we have here exam preparation okay that's the same page again and then you have all these read now materials so okay you just need to watch the video uh, i'm not going to play the video now it uh, this is a video about the 2023 learning system i'm going to act show you the actual uh, actual dashboard so i'm not going to play this video now so let's move out of this okay so yeah you click on self-study and then you can go ahead and buy it click on buy now so these are the prices i know it's pricey and guys this is the uh, us dollar amount i think in canadian dollars i paid about twelve hundred dollars and that's the member price non-member price is going to be much higher now you have two options online only and online with printed books I went ahead with online only because I'm comfortable you know learning online I know a lot of people prefer to have physical books so if you're one of them you can go ahead with this but I think they're going to charge you an extra $150 for the books so it's your choice um, sorry so add it add to the cart whatever you're going ahead with and then you can just make the payment uh, let's see the overview the product overview so you have the learning modules you have practice questions you have interactive tools you have videos you have flashcards and you have many more bonus resources as well so make the payment once you do that you're going to get an email which says action required your shrm education product online access now click here on the activation link login it takes you here right and i'm going to choose this so this is the 2023 shrm learning system i'm going to click on begin okay okay so this is how the learning system looks 
The first section is the assess section, which is you can take a pre-test to test your knowledge. Then we have study section, which consists of these four broad topics, competencies, people, organization, workplace. Each of these topics have different modules. You see, under competencies, we have so many modules. Each of these modules, like you click on each of these modules, you have um, a video of the content, you have the quiz, you have flashcards, and you have many other resources as well. So this is how you start learning. There are two types of orders. One is, you know, content order, or you have recommended order what's that okay looks like i cannot click there all right so start studying start preparing and you know you you don't really have to follow one order looks like you can access all these materials in any random order that you want to once you finish uh, studying everything here you can go to step number three and then take the pretest. all right so what am I going to do? I'm not going to take um, the pretest first because I want to first study the entire course at least once and then I'll take the test because as you can see, we have only two tests available. Uh, one is the pretest and then one is the post test, right? So I do not want to waste my uh, tests by not studying first so i'll study first and then i'll take the pretest and the final test the post test probably i'm going to take mm, one week or 10 days before the before the final exam which is in june right so this is how it looks it's quite organized it's it's um it's very um comprehensive it covers most of the topics which is good let's see what's here so we have resource center okay so you have printable flashcards you have additional resources and links you have support from experts and hr updates then we have progress okay so since i've not started preparing yet i did not have any progress showing up here but this is good you can actually track your progress this is the glossary okay and this is search button so i think the learning system is quite well designed and it's definitely going to help us prepare well for the exam let's go back to the main page and see the other things um <clears throat> so we've seen how you prepare for the exam now let's go and see the exam options and fees so once you click here you can schedule your exam but as you can see uh, there are two options in-person testing and remote testing so go ahead with whatever is feasible and these are the exam windows as of now we only have the uh, winter testing window open until Feb 15 2023 uh, I'm looking forward to the summer window and probably they're going to open up the registrations in mid January so I'll keep an eye and share with you once I'm able to register for the exam I probably plan to take it um, end of may or somewhere mid-june now these are the exam fees you have early bird exam fee and standard exam fee these are over and above your membership fee your study material fee and this is an additional fee just for the exam so go through this you have many options student exam fee corporate exam fee whatever is applicable to you you can go ahead and register so this is the exam composition you know you're going to have knowledge items you're going to have situational judgment items and field test questions this is going to be the setting of the exam two minutes reminder eight minutes of tutorial introduction section one one hour and 50 minutes and section two again one hour and 50 minutes and at last you'll have a five minutes of survey candidates can take an optional 15 minutes break so yes guys it's a long exam and you know we have to be really really prepared and we don't have much breaks so just just make sure you're absolutely prepared uh, for the exam before you start the statistics so i've discussed this in my last video these are the passing rates of last two years and then you know there are other information available as well 
let's go back to certification apply to take the exam so if you click here you can go ahead uh, the certification exam is closed yeah so the winter registration is closed uh, I'll be watching out for the summer registration because I would not want to miss out on the slots so this is it guys and uh, this is how the learning system will look this is how the shrm organization looks i've shared uh, the exam dates the exam fees and um, you know the winter uh, window is already closed so if you're planning to prepare uh, for the exam by the learning system start preparing and in January the registrations for the summer window is going to open up book yourself uh, for the summer exam uh, all right, let's get out of the screen and talk further. All right, then that was all about SHRM and uh, the process to take the exam for the SHRM CP or SHRM SCP certification. If you did like the video, please like it, share it, comment and do let me know in the comment section if you want to know anything else or if you have any questions about the entire process or if you feel i was not able to cover any important information in this video so wishing you all the best for your future all my hr friends there uh, go ahead and do the certification if not shrm then at least chrp or cphr if you're in canada and uh, i'm hoping you have a very bright career and future in canada being hr professionals I have not started uh, preparing for the course yet and once I do that, I'm going to share my experiences. It's going to be a long journey, uh, you know, the exam is in June and I'm going to prepare myself for the exam for the next five months and I'm definitely going to share with you my experiences, my learnings and give you some tips as and when I figure them out. So again, wishing you all the best. I hope you like the video. Please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel for more such informational videos. I'll meet you again in my next video. Until then, take care, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.